phone, which is also an MP3 player. And then powering the pair of speakers that's hidden in the uh, compartment inside the seat is this uh, $12 amplifier from eBay. Uh, it's a little Chinese special. Um, it's supposed to be 180 watts per channel if you believe it. I tend to believe it's more like 10 or 12, maybe 15 tops. But for the kayak, that's plenty. Um, we have the three and a half three ways kind of stuck back here in this little area if we can get to them. There's a pair of them actually, let's see. And yeah, there it is. A pair of, uh, there's one of them. And if we flip over here to the other side, here's the other one tucked back in here. And uh, yeah, they work very well. They sound quite good, in fact. Come on again here. So, we're out cruising around in the kayak. We have uh, plenty of tune. Now to power the whole thing. Keep that back down a little bit. Power the whole thing. Back here in the back end, back in the back hold, we have a 12 volt, 7 amp hour gel cell, which is uh, fused with a 3 amp fuse. Used RG58 because it'll handle current plenty well for everything that's uh, being powered here. Um, it works pretty well. I've been real happy with uh, the results. Um, the kayak's probably a little on the light side for me, but uh, it works quite well. And that's a tour of our kayak. Unless you want to see more of the box, which is down there. It's got uh, two jacks on the output side. One is the main power to the amplifier, the other is the auxiliary power in case I want to run something else. Um, I've got a front compartment that I thought about adding power to, and on this side is the uh, 12 volts in, and then down below, you can barely see one right here, are the two 1 amp fuses, the incoming power to the two switching regulators, the output power to the phone, and the output power to the camcorder. That's everything.